Welcome back to our channel, The Facts of Life. We're diving into an exciting new series today, a riveting tale of mystery and legacy. Before we delve into the drama of the mysterious letter, let's introduce you to our protagonist. In the heart of a charming, tranquil town embraced by lush, undulating hills, dwells our heroine Emma. Emma is no ordinary resident of this town, she is an amputee, having lost her leg in an unfortunate accident years ago, but she wears her prosthetic limb with pride, a symbol of her resilience and a testament to modern engineering marvels. Emma spends her days in peaceful routine, working in the town's quaint library and nurturing her beloved garden with tender care. She's found tranquility and contentment in her life, unaware that this serenity is soon to be disrupted. On one particularly hot summer day, a knock on her door signals the beginning of an unexpected journey. But we're getting ahead of ourselves, come along as we unravel Emma's story, one scene at a time. Stay tuned for the next scene. A mysterious letter. In a quiet picturesque town nestled among the rolling hills lived Emma, an amputee who had lost her leg in a tragic accident years ago. She had come to terms with her prosthetic limb, a sleek and modern marvel of engineering. Her days were filled with quiet contentment, working at the local library and tending to her garden. Little did she know that her life was about to take an unexpected turn. One sweltering summer afternoon, a knock on her door startled her. The postman, a curious look on his face, handed her a dusty, old envelope. Inside she found a letter bearing a wax seal with an ornate R. It read, Dearest Emma, I hope this letter finds you well, inherit what's yours. Confused and intrigued, Emma followed the cryptic instructions and embarked on a journey that would unravel a sinister legacy. She entered the attic of her ancestral home, a place she hadn't ventured into for years. As she ascended the creaking wooden stairs, the air grew thick with the scent of history. The attic was a treasure trove of forgotten memories and relics. Sunlight streamed through the dusty windows, casting long shadows upon forgotten trunks, moth-eaten tapestries, and vintage prosthetic limbs that hung eerily from wooden beams. Each limb was a work of art in its own right bearing intricate craftsmanship and designs of bygone eras. They were crafted from wood, leather and metal. Some ornate and others plain and all held a macabre history. Buried beneath the limbs was a stack of letters, all bearing the same R seal. They were written by a distant relative, a man named Reginald, who had amassed the collection of prosthetics over the years. As Emma read through the letters, she discovered a dark secret. Reginald had been a doctor who, in his quest for medical advancement, had acquired limbs from amputees he treated. He believed that by studying the prosthetics, he could unlock the mysteries of the human body. But the more he delved into his experiments, the more disturbing they became. Emma's heart sank as she realized that these limbs bore the pain and suffering of those they had once been attached to. Emma's investigations took her deeper into the twisted world of her ancestor. She uncovered hidden diaries that revealed Reginald's descent into madness, driven by his obsession with the macabre prosthetics. He had performed experiments on the limbs, attempting to animate them, to give them a life of their own. Haunted by this grim revelation, Emma decided to confront her family's dark legacy. She collected the vintage prosthetics, gathered the cryptic letters, and locked them away in a sturdy chest, determined to ensure they would never harm anyone again. In the end, she chose to honor the memory of those who had suffered by turning the attic into a memorial for amputees, celebrating the resilience and strength of those who had faced the same challenges she had.